your efforts and your supporters for coming out to support this very worthy cause. We shall start with the Quran recitation in the Thank you. 
what are these flags behind us? And why these specific countries uh, specific? As you know, we're gathered here today for this part of the symposium to award two distinguished uh, gentlemen for their extensive and contribution to the field. And they're still young, so they have many, many years to go. But the, the flags that they have, on the back of the program, actually page four of the program, you'll see the distinguished gentlemen that have Awarded this uh, the that award uh, in previous years. So each of these flags, red well, exception of California, <laughs> represents where uh, our distinguished scholars that are listed on this program are coming from. And this is the uh, the wisdom for having that. Uh, again, I'd like to thank you all. I would like to call Mr. Tommy McMullins to join us. We have a, uh, a wonderful tree, uh, a distinguished uh, gentleman who will honor us with uh, singing God Bless America. And uh, Mr. McMullins will present with the Thank you very much, Mr. Here we go, also. Uh, good evening, and thank you very much for inviting me. On previous occasion, we've had a young man to join with you uh, who had uh, a, who was in his master's degree program at USC, and unfortunately, he could not be with us this evening because he is not with the LA Opera. He has been promoted, and, and uh, unfortunately, they are planning an opera fairly soon, and because of rehearsal, he could not be with us. But he was with us for 40 years, and now it's time to start a new tradition. The individual that I'm about to introduce you to now, I have known now for over 25 years. He has performed in many venues throughout the city of Los Angeles, throughout the United States, and even throughout the world. In fact, I'm favored to have one of his albums in my car that I listen to regularly. It's one of the only ones that I think is in existence, but uh, he has done exceedingly well in the recording industry as well. Uh, if you go to Dodger Stadium, he has performed that frequently in the national anthem. And fortunately this evening, he was able to join with us today. He's a very good friend of mine. His name is Mr. Robert Shepard. And he was made with us with God bless him. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
And for those of you who are married such as I, I have a wife who refused to be here tonight because she knew that I would fall flat on my face and she wouldn't want to suffer the embarrassment. So if everything goes right, would you please give her a call and say everything went just right today. In fact, uh, last year I had the honor of introducing a, a, the individual who is responsible, who has been the pioneer for this wonderful event. Uh, Dr. Robin. He and I are considered to be good friends, yay brothers. And often when we have people operating in the arena of being a pioneer, generally we aspire to be what that individual is doing. Unfortunately, many of us may not want to suffer the pains of being a pioneer. And should he be here this evening? Probably not. But because of his dedicated interest, and his commitment to Mariba Baby. He's here this evening, and I think we're going to give him a round of applause. So <laughs> In fact, my professor taught me many years ago a word that, uh, that I've come to look at as not being very sincere. That word is perfunctory. That is, many of you may say that I only said that about his being my brother because. Well, you may feel an obligation. You're participating on this program, so you're supposed to say it simply because it's perfunctory. Well, not so. The depth of my sincerity cannot be any greater, because this man has been a great inspiration to me in all of the things that I've done in my banking career, in my personal career, and even given me the opportunity to meet so many of you who are so richly warm and friendly to me. Thank you very much. with the opportunity to present awards to your two awardees this evening. Unfortunately, as you can know by the program, there seems to be a special kinship between me and one of the other, one of Mr. Muller. The only difference between our names, of course, is that the Mick is left off his name as Mr. <laughs> Thomas Mullins and mine is Thomas McMullins. So we've had a chance to chat about that, and maybe I can find out where did the Mick go in his name, or how did it get added on to my name. But we want to congratulate both of these gentlemen, and on behalf of the city of Pasadena, of whom the mayor could not be here this evening, Mayor Bogart, the county of Los Angeles, Supervisor Mike Antonovich, and also from the Congress of the United States, Congressman Jim Rogan, who could not be with us this evening. We have special commendation from each of these individuals who sent their regards and their well wishes for both uh, uh, Mr. Khan and uh, Mr. Mullins. We have these presentations for you, and they will be given to you immediately after the program. And again, on behalf of each of these government entities, Okay, we'll do that. Yes, I'm sorry. You notice I missed one item. We're going to do some photo taking. Yes, sir. Don't tell my wife we did that. <laughs> anyway, this is from the city of Pasadena, and it reads uh, Certificate of Recognition to Mr. Thomas Mullen, and also to the other awarding, Mr. Khan, for his dedication and excellence in Islamic banking and finance. And I will present one to each. And, uh, I have here also a beautiful accommodation for each from the County of Los Angeles, Supervisor Mike Antonovich. And also from a good friend of mine, well-respected gentleman, uh, Congressman Jim Rogan. And uh, he too sends a proclamation. And I'd like to present one to each of the individual honorees.
generous in uh, supporting my campaign. We had a wonderful party at his house with himself and his wife, Magda. And uh, so I, I am really thrilled to be a part of this occasion. I also want to present this to uh, Yuval Ahmed Khan. And I want to uh, all praise him for the work that he has done. I've been able to sit at the table with him and, and learn of the great work that he's doing in Islamic banking uh, from his home uh, in London. And uh, I would like to congratulate him on the receipt of the Award for Excellence in Islamic Banking and Finance, the Practitioner and Entrepreneur's Division, commended on his many professional accomplishments and extends sincere best wishes for success in the future. Life to the economic will be of the community. And 
back of the NS House over the last 14 years, we have started so many entrepreneurs. We have paid so many bankers. We have started so many businesses. We have had so many people buy homes, equity people buy homes. And we are very thankful for writing down equity. So we encourage you, please try. I'm not asking you to uh, go out and mortgage the farm to do this. We're asking you just 5% of your network at the most and see what will happen to the community and how successful that community will be. So if we circulate this money in the community, if we create the economic activity, if we create job opportunities, and we create peace and trust within the community, then we manifest what the prophet says, Allah, all of a sudden, Khayyum Nasi and Ahum The rest of the people are the most beneficial and useful for other people. So it is not a donation. But we're not telling you to pay a donation, we're telling you to invest in the future. Every year, we honor pioneers in Islamic banking and finance. And this year, we honor Harvard University with its pioneering program, which is called the Harvard uh, Islamic Banking Information Program, which was pioneered by Mr. Bonds, heavily supported by Mr. Bonds, by the way. And you don't know how important this program is really for the field. And we're telling you from the field because we know. When uh, Mara Dickerson, out of the blue, we got a phone call from Los Angeles Times last year. Uh, from Los Angeles Times said, what we learned about your activities, we'd like to cover you. Uh, tell us about uh, people who know you. So we said, Harvard, it's not a finance program. They called Thomas, Thomas Martin, not for <laughs> and, uh, and here comes the credibility. So you don't know how much credibility the Harvard program has brought to us, how much important it is uh, that uh, what you've done for the fields of banking, especially in, in the United States. We thank you tremendously for it. The board of directors of American Finance House has unanimously approved the granting of the 2000 Lenin Award to investors of Thomas Mons and Mahmoud Bakai. Thomas Mons. Division, and this is the Father for the practitioners uh, division. Let me share with you the background and the achievements of Mr. Thomas Barnes. <coughs> he is the executive director of the Harvard Islamic Finance Information Program. He is associate director of the Harvard University Center for Middle Eastern Study. He is also the executive director of contemporary Arab study at the Center for Middle Eastern Studies. Chair of the Harvard Islamic Investment Study. And uh, he chaired a very interesting program that produced a very, very distinguished book, which was written by uh, Mr. Hayes and Mr. Bodo at Harvard. It's called Islamic Law and Finance Religion, Risk, and Return. So, Marlon directs new program development and external affairs at the Center for Middle East Studies. He was awarded his BA from the University of Pennsylvania in 1958. And his graduate studies were done at the American University of Beirut and at Harvard Business School. So Mullins has over 30 years experience in the international oil industry in Europe and the Middle East. His interests include geopolitical and strategic studies, Islamic finance, economic development, and regional conflict. So Mullins is married and has three children. Please join me in congratulating Mr. Barnes for the achievement of the very last 2000 award.
all the work that was done in the Senate Banking Finance for the first time in one volume. And this is Aligra University, where all the report comes from, from India, of all the places, not an Arabic speaking country, produced this tremendous work. One of it is Clara Kahn. Clara is currently the managing director and the head of global Islamic finance for the Hong Kong and Shanghai Bank Corporation Group, which is one of the larger multinational banks operating in 85 countries in the world. Its new name would be Adana Finance. He was formerly the managing director of City Islamic Investment Bank and the global head of Islamic finance for City. City Court. Before that, he was a general manager and chief operating officer of the Islamic Investment Company of the Gulf of Bahrain. He's a member of the Managing Committee of the Dar and Man Islamic Group and a member and secretary or profit committee of Dar and Man Islamic Group. In addition, Mr. Khan is the director of the Gulf Investment Company of Labwa, Malaysia. It is a tax free region for Malaysia. Old Labwa, which he carries investments that are tax free as a tax haven, and he is a member of that uh, board. He's uh, also a director of the Islamic Development Bank. The Islamic Development Bank is a offshoot of the Islamic uh, organization, Islamic uh, organization, I would say, yeah, Islamic organization conference, and it is a multinational World Bank. The, uh, Mr. Khan is a member of the operating board for the Harvard Islamic Finance Information Program and director of the International Association of Islamic Banks. Uh, he is a great supporter of the Harvard Islamic Finance Information Program and he had an MA in political science, international relations, and a BSc honors in physics and chemistry. So he's good in science in finance. And we're very proud of it. Please join me in congratulating Mr. Iqbal Ahmed Khan. I believe the true measure of the career is to be able to be 
you and proud that you succeeded through your own efforts in close cooperation with your colleagues without being betrayed of casualties in your way. Human relations with a personal professional need not be a zero sum. Beyond any personal or institutional sense of satisfaction, you had fair and honest goods and services, or allocation of rewards, and the profound and practical value. In business, and so does goodwill, and we added it to not set your balance sheets. I feel that the true spirit of the real reflects these very same values as exemplified in Dr. Carter Oates, Dr. Young. Returning to our program this afternoon, America is a land for self invention, where identity is less a birthright than a citizen's choice. Let us make that choice today, personally and professionally, to work together, accentuating what's common among us, not what's different, the growth and success of Islamic faith in finance in this country and throughout the world. That success will surely come through imagined identity of products and practices developed in free fair elaboration or even competition within and beyond the Islamic financial community. Let us join together to combine the wondrous tools of information technology, the scholarship of academics, and the enlightened stewardship of your hard-earned resources. And together bring the understanding of the reality. And that's the final aspect of Islam itself in the spheres of national and international bank and all those who study and serve in these centers. Again, on behalf of my colleagues at Harvard University, and those who have been so very generous with both their intellectual as well as financial support, I thank you. Islands, and to my children, who have learned to live 
long absence of the father. And one person who I particularly like to see that the next time I go to that time was Sunil Amishir in South Arabia, who is the executive group of the International Association of Islamic Finance. He has been my mentor and guide for one day. I thank you. And to all of them, and to all of you, I say thank you for the love of God. To me, Islamic finance will always be my boss. There are many reasons why the boss has been truly formed in the class. There are some which we comprehend as economists and the bankers. And there are other reasons which will dawn upon us later, perhaps at the end of time, as we know it. I'm reminded of the Hadith of Prophet Sadasana, in which he said, Our plentiful union is seen from the outside, its end is born to any boundary. There is no doubt that Islamic finance is a divine cause. In life, it will all be used up in some cause. What better cause to be used up than a divine cause? It will all be blessed to the extent we are associated with this cause. There are the more challenges in this cause, the greater the reward. When we look to the future of the Islamic finance industry, I am reminded of the words of Chinese philosopher, Tao Tzu, who said, that which is achieved the most that the whole of the future will be achieved. Last but not least, I would like to thank the organizers of the American Divine Finance House for the effort and the effort to make this conference a reality. I very much enjoy being with you and loving to be doing this. I would like to thank all of you who have taken time out of the weekend and have gathered all the senses to come and participate in this annual symposium. God bless you all, and thank you for having me today.
I'd be like to do that. We are uh, really, really uh, very happy that you're here tonight. We appreciate your coming. I'd like to acknowledge the uh, hard work of the team. And I can find him here by the hand of the hospital and I left the whole bag in his hands. But uh, now next year I can leave it in your hands again. So <laughs> go to the hospital. <laughs> But I'd like to also introduce the uh, Mike Abelotti is a, is a really unique individual. He is uh, an accountant by profession. I uh, worked for uh, Bank of America for at least eight years. And uh, seven years with Sapo Bank, three years with Saudi Investment Bank, and inshallah forever uh, with American Finance House Tariba. Uh, his wife, his wife Janine, is a banker. His brother Asher is a banker. The whole family is a family of bankers, so we're very delighted to have uh, Mike with us as the president of American Finance House very much. Also, uh, I'd like to uh, acknowledge uh, Mr. Bal, I mean Mr. Bal, Bal. Bal is, uh, Bal is our uh, finance officer and vice president. So anytime you need to finance a house, a car, or anything, just call it about it. He'll be delighted to serve you. And now our accountant, Anissa. Where is Anissa? Anissa is our accountant. We really have to be because Anissa comes from Bosnia. And who we'll have our guest? Reza has just left to Sri Lanka. And we're very delighted to have you. I also want to acknowledge some of the distinguished scholars we have here this evening, for those who have not met them, I'd like to introduce to you the first chair professor of Islamic Banking and Finance in the history of the United States, Christ University, Professor Mahmoud is developing to be, at least in my judgment, one of the best Sharia scholars on Islamic economics and finance in the world. And I'm not exaggerating. And I'm very delighted and uh, thankful for Allah that Mahmoud Gavin was sent to Islamic banking and uh, finance. Also, we have uh, with us, of course, uh, Professor Dr. Salah Malaika, the awardee of last year. Dr. Malaika came all the way from Jinnah. It's a great honor to have you with us. Come uh, to us from the west, from the east coast, doing the capo, so all the fisher. Uh, we have a lot of visitors from out of states and out of the country. So Mohammed from Luxembourg, uh, from Atlanta, Georgia, Mr. Ms. Kanal, who is Mr. Kanal, Hassan. Very nice having you with us. From uh, Michigan, the great Michigan, Saad, and his father and mom. And we have from uh, Isna headquarters in uh, Indiana, Tipu Ahmed, Tipu, and uh, Tapu Lodi, and the other ones running a program in July 14th and 16th. I happen to be the co chairman of the program, so we need your support, inshallah, at that time. Who else came from out of town? We have from Sacramento. Uh, Dr. Arfan Khan and Dr. Khwaya Amir came from a beautiful organization called Salaf. And uh, who else now? Yeah. Oh, from London, England. London, England. Please stand up. I forgot your name and I apologize for it. Huh? Paul comes from London, England with the capo. And from uh, Virginia, Dr. Virginia. I have Dr. Kamran Bey and his beautiful wife from Morocco. So, uh, who else have I missed? Oh, I'm going to introduce Mohammed Bey to most of the world. And I'd like to, uh, before you eat the dessert, let's make a dua together. So, oh, from Ethiopia. Ooh, come on, stand up, please. We have Ethiopia. From Ethiopia. From Haram in Ethiopia. I have a story about Harar, I don't know if you know it or not, but Harar used to be the largest center for trade, slave trading in Ethiopia. All the slave traders from Europe bought their slaves from Harar 
and the Egyptian army in 1868 sent an expedition on her to liberate the slaves. And until today, there is a district, right, from the Egyptian district, the mosque, where the slaves were liberated and became the most liberated city in Ethiopia. I don't know if you heard a piece of history or not. I'm very happy to have him from Tara. I'd like to conclude uh, with a dua. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan al-rajim, bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, ibarik ya wakil. Iyaka na'abu wa iyaka nasa'in, ibarik surat al-Mustafim. Surat al-Ladina na'abta alayhi wa khayr, ibarik ya alayhi wa khayr. اللهم اجمع قلوبنا على محبتك وعلى ايمانك وعلى نورك لنا واغفر لنا ذنوبنا واسرافنا في امرنا اللهم اني قد اقول بريد that you combine our hearts to work harder for your cause of justice and peace that you give us the strength to link our arms to stand upright against the justice in this world اللهم اني قد اقول بريد that you will show us what's right as right and proper, and give us the wisdom and the determination of following it, and show us what's wrong as wrong and improper, and give us the tenacity and the strength to obey it. Almighty God, we pray that you bless us all tonight. Almighty God, we pray that you will forgive us for forgetting the many, many, many wonderful gifts that you have given us in our bodies, but we have failed to recognize. We thank you for the help. We thank you for the friendship. We thank you for the company. We thank you for the love that you have injected amongst us. Almighty God, we pray that you make your final words that you said to mankind, the Quran, the wisdom of our minds, and the articulacy of our tongue, and the comfort of our heart, and the light by which you enlighten us on the righteous path. The mighty God, we pray that you bring happiness to the sad and sustenance to the poor, and that you solve our problems, and that you will bring shelter to the shelterless and hope to the homeless. And you will take away oppression from the oppressed and injustice from those who are being discriminated against. Mighty God, we pray that you give victory for those who stand upright to glorify you and your cause. Mighty God, we pray that you forgive us our sins, that you give speed recovery to the ill and the sick, that you bless those our knees tonight and those before them, and that you make us amongst those pioneers that will change the world and touch the lives of everyone in this world. Almighty God, we pray that you will accept those who died before us in paradise, that you will forgive us our sins, 